Hello, how are you? In this video we will see what are some things that literally make no sense. This video is brought to you by the question response channel. The channel where you will find the answer to everything. I thank Sean Kernan, Franklin Wo, Vairavan Vinato and Shanks Wang for answering this question. We'll start with Sean Kernan's first answer. English pronunciations. Mint equals mint. Tint equals tint. Pint equals pie and tea. There is zero consistency sometimes. Rough equals rough. Cough equals cough. Though equals foe. Through equals through. Tear. Crying equals tear. Tear. Ripping equals tear. C equals C. Seal equals seal. Sean equals Sean. I feel bad for people learning English. It is a ridiculous language. We continue with Franklin Vo's answer. Back in about 1988 or so, I bought a brand new CD-ROM drive for my computer. Computers usually had floppy drives back then, and CD-ROM drives were not standard. Because they were newfangled devices, drivers for them weren't built into most operating systems. The driver for my CD-ROM drive came on a CD. On a CD, I had to take it to another computer that had a CD-ROM drive and copy it into a floppy disk to install it. The next answer is from Vairavan Vinato. When somebody calls you on the phone and you miss it by two seconds, but when you try to call them back instantly, they don't pick up. What the hell did you do after calling me? Throw the phone and run away? We can continue with Shanks Wang's answer. Do you know why squashing a bug is less of a crime than murdering a human being? This is the argument for sentience, that is, the ability to feel, perceive, or experience subjectively. The smarter an animal is, the higher the degree of sentience it has, and thus, the more vivid its perceptions of its own sufferings. And that is why we can crush the ants running over our sugar jars without batting an eyelid. That is why we breed and kill literally millions of chickens, cows, pigs for our consumption. But we do feel slightly uncomfortable watching farmers sever a chicken's head. We don't like to be reminded of its gruesome beheading while we gobble down its meat. That is why we feel more uneasy when we see dogs stolen and burnt alive in the Yulin Dog Meat Festival. That's not a matter of choosing what to eat. Morally, there is nothing wrong with eating dogs as long as they are bred and killed humanely in those countries. Pigs, e.g., are smarter and we eat them daily. That's theft and torture. Nobody cares if you torture ants on the other hand. That is why I personally believe killing an elephant, or a dolphin, or an orca is more immoral than killing a dog because they are way smarter than dogs. In fact, even if these animals are breedable and edible, I believe their high level of sentience warrants banning of such practices. And that is why I believe human beings should always have more rights and privileges than any other animals. Before you animal lovers get offended, allow me give you a couple of scenarios. A random dog, assuming the dog cannot swim, and a random stranger are drowning in the sea. You have only one life boy with you, who do you toss it to? To me, there is only one correct answer. The stranger, simply because he is a fellow human being. Now in all fairness, if it's your dog and a stranger drowning, I find it completely acceptable to prioritize your pet over some guy you never knew. However, if it's your dog and your 10-year-old son drowning in the sea, I find it utterly immoral to choose the dog over the boy. I love animals myself, but I wouldn't let it cloud my judgment. If you cannot save both, save the human over the dog. That's the moral thing to do. This is precisely why I find many of PETAs, people for ethical treatment of animals, antics completely devoid of sense. A good proportion of them believe in equal rights between animals and humans. While I applaud their effort to stay vegan in order to be consistent with their moral codes, they are still massive hypocrites. That drug that is keeping your mother with failing kidneys alive without dialysis. We tested it on mice first. That state-of-the-art equipment and surgical procedure that saved your life after a heart attack. We used it on animals first. Every time you accidentally step on an ant, you better succumb to the guilt of manslaughter. Sometimes, I wonder if they care about humanity at all. They are actively petitioning to stop animal experiments altogether. How do we test new fresh out of the lab medical drugs then? Should we start with humans right off the bat? Better a human being than a mouse, right? Who would even dare volunteer for the first batch of experiments? It's honestly ridiculous. Seriously. Now to be fair, some of their goals are completely justifiable. I'm personally supportive of their fight to free orcas from captivity. Like them, I believe animal circuses that use punishment as a training tool should be banned. I find the enslavement of elephants in certain parts of the world reprehensible. As long as banning these practices does not encroach on the inherent rights and safety of human beings, I completely agree. But as of now, I find many of their goals unacceptable, dangerous even, to humanity. Their hypocrisy is regrettable. Animals, humans included, should be treated differently according to their level of sentience. You may disagree, but watch where you step. You don't want to commit murder on that cockroach, do you? The video is over, thank you for staying until the end. If you found the answer you were looking for, please leave a like and subscribe, it would help us a lot. Friends it's now the end of this video, remember to leave a comment to tell us if these answers are more for you. See you soon.